everyone welcome back so obviously I got no makeup on um, so I'm going to get ready with you guys today or you're gonna get ready with me we're gonna do a plus size get ready with me a lot of you guys are asking for more plus size videos so I decided that I would film one so this is gonna be kind of like a transitional from summer to fall kind of plus size get ready with me I'm super excited for the fall and I just can't hold back any longer so you're gonna kind of see more of like a fall vibe going on than a summer but I think that's okay so um, I'm gonna do my makeup and then we will do an outfit and just get ready together so I will say though that I am NOT a makeup artist I will probably do things that you guys will cringe at because you're like oh that's too much or that's too little or everybody does their own thing for makeup and I do mine so that's that. I hope you guys can give me a little leniency and don't, you know, burn me at the stake if I'm doing something wrong or you think it's wrong. It's kind of what I like to do. So I'm going to show you what I like to do and I hope you learn some, maybe some fun new things to try out if you've not tried out or anything like that. So let's just get started. The first thing I'm going to take is a um, Pond's Makeup Wipe. This is, these are the EB Soothe ones. I always wash my face at night, but I don't wash my face in the morning unless I had took a shower or something. Um, I don't like to double cleanse that way because I find that it dries out my skin way more than if I just use like a makeup wipe or some cleansing water in the morning. That's what I like to do. The next thing I'm going to do is, if you can hear my daughter, she's out there. <laughs> Um, the next thing I'm going to do is use a moisturizer. I'm using the Ultra Repair Cream. This is by um, First Aid Beauty. This is in the grapefruit scent. I love this stuff during the winter time. But I recently started a new um, medication and it's made my skin just freak out. So we need all the moisture that we can get. So I go a little bit crazy with this stuff. Right, once I've moisturized, it's time for the eyes. I always do my eyes first just because I find it a bit easier. I don't have to worry about fallout that way. Just wipe it away and we go and start the face. So I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in uh, Chantilly, which I believe is the lightest one. This isn't my all-time favorite concealer on the planet. Um, I feel like it's a little bit too drying for me. I have dry skin normally, so if you are more on the oily side, you may appreciate this a bit more than I do. Um, I just find it to be a bit too drying, in my humble opinion. But I do like to use some sort of concealer or something that has a primer that has coverage because I have a lot of darkness on the lids. And this helps that out a bit. After my eyes are primed and ready to go, we're going to start on the eyeshadow. So today we're just doing a really, really simple look. I think it's really pretty for the fall. I can find the brushes that I want to use. I think it's really pretty for the fall. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and set my concealer with a translucent setting powder. Um, I find that that helps a lot for the longevity of the eyeshadow. It helps not crease and it helps when you're applying the actual eyeshadow look that you want. It helps it not to look choppy or hard to blend out because if you're putting something dry that's on something wet, it's often a little bit harder to blend out. It doesn't look as nice. So I always set the eye area. All right. Next, I am going to start with our Jaclyn Hill palette. Now, I have mixed feelings about this palette. I think it's a nice palette. I don't really... I don't know. I like the palette. I don't know if it's like worth the insane hype around it. Or, I, don't, I definitely don't think it's worth all the negative criticisms. I think it's nice. I think it's pretty. Um, it's an awesome color range. I feel like this is one of the palettes that you really don't need a whole lot more in. But I feel like a lot of the shades are pretty similar. That's my only real big, like, judgment call on this. Is that I feel like a lot of these warm mattes are so similar in tone that they don't really make a big difference on the eye. I feel like she would, she should have included a couple of other shades or just done and went a little different. I don't know. Anyway, I like it though. So, first things I'm going to take is the color, just drop that, um, what is it called? 
beam and I'm just going to pop that all over. It's a very shimmery shade. I like to start with a shimmery base. I just find that it looks really pretty. My, I'm very fair so it helps kind of brighten up that eye look and kind of good, get a nice base. So next we're just going to dive in with the crease color. I feel a weird filming this video. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, my MAC 224 brush and then I'm going to take the color. What am I going to take? What do I want to take? Silk Cream, which is the third color in. It's just a nice transition shade. I'm going to have to bring out a smaller mirror. I can't see this like this. I can't do that. So if you see me like holding up a palette, I'm real sorry. I'm just using the mirror for it. So we're just going to swing that back and forth in the crease. All right, so now that we have Silk Cream on, the only really other color we're going to add is my daughter. Is it good? Good. Um, the only other color we're going to add is Jax, which is this very beautiful. Like in the pan, it does not wow me, but on the lid, it is so stunning and it's like this really beautiful cranberry shade. I'm just taking this base shadow brush from Real Techniques and I'm just putting on that putting that on the outer corner and blending it upwards. I just think this is such a pretty eye look for the fall. It's super, super simple to do. It doesn't require a lot of work and it just looks so beautiful. Now that I have that built up on both eyes, I promise we're going to clean it up and it's going to look really pretty. Um, I'm just going to go back in with that beam color and I'm just going to brighten up that inner part of that eye. This should be kind of what you got going on right now. I know. Next, we are moving to the skin. Now, like I said before, I am super, super, super pale and this summer I haven't changed a bit with my paleness. So, you're going to see that. <laughs> and it's going to look really pale, but of course it blends in, I promise. I'm trying to match my neck. I'm looking a little bit darker and more pink on camera than I am in real life. I'm pretty stark white. So, just keep in mind when I'm doing this stuff that you're like, oh my gosh, what is she using? Um, today, let's prime first actually. I'm going to use my Too Faced Primed and Poreless. This is a pretty good primer. I used to really, really love it when I first got it. Now I'm kind of like, meh. I like silicone-based primers. I find that they work the best for my skin. I don't know, some people don't really like that. They like more of a lotion type of primer, but I like silicone. Look, it just smooths out my skin so nicely. All right, for our foundation today, we're going to take the Revlon Color Stay um, in 110 Ivory, the lightest shade available. And this is where you guys are going to be like, wow, she went crazy with the foundation. I know, I know I do. I know I do. You guys don't need to tell me how much foundation I use. I got it. I like a full coverage. Full, full coverage. And I honestly don't think it looks cakey, but you guys may be like, that's the cakiest makeup I've ever seen. And I'll be like, eh, I like it. <laughs> okay, my question is to you, this one actually is a day of dirty, I know. But, how do you guys clean your beauty blenders to get them back to look nice and pink again? Like, no matter what I've tried, they do not go back to normal. And it drives me crazy. I've tried so many different types of soaps. I've tried so many different types of techniques. I even did the one in the microwave. Like, nothing worked. Alright, now we go in with some concealer. 
just a tiny bit. We call it a day. I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. Everybody and their mother loves this stuff. For good reason. It's great. I need to get another one. I'm almost out. I hate that feeling too. Like you're expensive, just keep going forever. Alright. Can you hear the YouTube video that my daughter's got on? Raise your hand if your kids watch freaking toy YouTube videos. The issue is, is that I catch her now, and it's hilarious, but I also kind of be like, what am I creating here? Is when she's like playing with her toys and she's like, all right, everyone, hi. You know, she'll be like, hi, my name is Ollie. And today, <laughs> please comment, rate, and subscribe. Wait, uh oh. All right, looking like a ghost, are we? This light is not helping over here. Let me tell you, I thought it was gonna be helpful. I just look super white in it. In my other light, it looks good. That light, I look like a ghost, I don't know. I probably went a little crazy on the foundation today. I went a little crazy, okay? I'll admit it. It'll come together though, don't worry. Next, I'm going to take my powder, I'm using my Airspun Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm throwing in a tiny bit of the Bin Nye Neutral Set. This is a colorless powder. It's similar to the RCMA, um, I think, the color powder that everybody likes that's I find sold out quite often. So if you can't get your hands on that and you want to try it, this is a very similar dupe. Bake it under the eyes a bit. I do around my nose too, under my lip, because those are where cre it creases. Next, I'm gonna take this big old kabuki brush that is filled with powder that I gotta clean. Don't judge me. And we're gonna set the rest of the face. I'm using a lot of what I use put on for the baking to kind of set the rest of my face. I am dry, so I don't leave the baking on for too long, otherwise, it starts getting real unsightly under there. Baked and ready to contour. Let's move you. Shall we move you? Maybe that'll help you. Did that help you? I think that helped a little bit with the lighting. I think it did. Okay, now we are going to bronze up the skin. I'm using my IT Cosmetics CC Radiance Ombre Bronzer. This is really pretty. Ombre bronzer that I normally stay closer to this bottom area right here. And I'm using this Wet n Wild Big Fluffy Powder Brush. This brush is awesome. And I am just bronzing where I would contour. And don't worry, we're contouring too. Because I really like to overdo it. And then we're just going to kind of pat whatever's extra on the temples, double chin jaw, you know, go crazy. Next, we are going to contour. And I'm going to contour with my Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm going to use the ashiest shade in the bunch. Oh my nose itches. Ugh. It's like the worst feeling when you're doing your makeup. Um, I'm using my Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, F40. Now, I know this brush is dirty, but let me tell you that when I clean this brush, this sounds like I never clean this brush, when I have to clean this brush, it never works as good as when it gets like powder in it. So, what I do is before I start using it again, after I wash it, I like run it in, bless you Ollie, I rub, rub it in powder to kind of dirty it up again. Um, it's kind of like how hair 
curls better and styles better when it has a little bit of texture, a little bit of dirt in it. It's the same thing with this brush. It does not work as well when it's clean. But I love it. It's sexy faces, huh? Alright, now that we got our contour on, it is time to highlight. We're starting our highlighting journey. I use a lot of cheap products, so be prepared. We're starting our highlighting journey with our Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. Do you guys remember when this was the shiz? Back in the day, a couple years ago, this thing was like all anybody talked about. And now we've moved on to bigger, not necessarily better things. I'm putting that on my nose. I'm using my e.l.f. blush brush. This is a phenomenal highlighting brush, by the way. Super inexpensive as well. I like to glow like Rudolph on the nose. Now this is a very golden highlight and it's a bit too dark for my skin. So I lighten up with another highlight. Because <laughs> why not? I find that if I use one that is light enough for my skin, it just looks too white. So I like to build with a little bit darker highlights and layer so it doesn't look as, you know, crazy. Now I'm trying to decide what I want to use. I think I'm going to use my Sephora highlighting palette. This thing is so good. I got this on a whim and I will never look back. This thing is so good. So I'm going to use this lovely pink shade with a tiny bit of this white shade. It is such a good palette. And it was super inexpensive for what it was. I want to believe it was under 30. Which that's how much one highlight costs these days. Sometimes more. It is such a nice palette. It's so creamy, so pigmented. I love it. I will try to link it below if you would like to try it. So there we go. Highlighted. Looking beamy. Is that even a word? I don't know. I'm, I'm not hip with the lingo. Alright, next we are going to blush up the cheeks. And you're about to see that I use 15 other blush shades because it's just what I do. It's just what I do. I'm going to take my Real Techniques blushing brush. Dirty as well. Um, I'm using NARS Luster to start off. This thing has been loved. I need to get a new one. But it's this really beautiful kind of peachy, bronzy apricot shade. All right, all right, we're coming together. I told you, I told you we'd come together. Next, I'm going to, what one do I want to take now? It's a new day, let's try something different. I'm going to take a little bit of this Tarte, no, not that one. This Tarte blush in the color Parte. Parte, I think, I don't know. And it is this one right here. This is from the birthday little gift that you can get at Sephora that I just got. I actually really like it, so don't. If you, it's, it's your birthday month, you can go in. I don't even think you have to purchase anything and you can just go get your birthday gift. This year they had two different options. They had a Tarte one and they had some sort of skincare one. I don't remember which one it was, but yeah. Maybe you have to spend $25. I don't know, I don't think you do. But anyway, they'll give you a free gift and they, it was a blush and a liquid lipstick. If you didn't know that. I mean, I guess most, most people probably know that. <laughs> I'm just trying to act like I know something cool. Anyway, this is Nars Sin, which is a really beautiful deep berry shade. Like I said, I just like to go a little bit ham on the face, the cheeks. I like a lot of blush, I like a lot of cheek color. So soony. Um, last but not least, <laughs> I'm going to kind of bring a little bit of life into the cheeks the apples of my cheeks. I find that, I know that was something that you weren't supposed to do, but I always found like when I would look at pictures of myself, I just looked dead because I had all my color right here, but nothing right here. And it just, I didn't look very healthy. So I like adding a tiny bit. Um, I'm using my It Cosmetics CC Radiance Ombre Brush, Ombre Blush in Je Ne Sais Quoi. And it's a really, really pretty pink. 
I'm trying to bring a little bit of that pink back from that eye look just to kind of really warm it up. I really like that eye. It's very cranberry and I like it because it's not super plum deep purple which I feel is like very normal for fall. I like it because it's really pretty and warm but it's something you can wear I feel like all year if you wanted to. I don't, I break fashion rules and makeup rules. I don't care. Are there makeup rules like when it comes to the seasons? I don't know. And then I normally go in with that highlighter brush. Just pop on whatever's left on that. And then we're going to bake under the cheekbones. So, because some of that color, the millions of pounds of cheek color I wear falls down. We don't want it to look muddy. So we're going to carve it out. Just use my beauty blender to do so. And there we go. Next we're going to finish up the eyes and the brows and then do our lips. So I'm the least fussy brow person. I wish I had really cool Instagram, YouTube, beauty guru brows, but I don't. It just takes too much time and I just, I don't know. So I just use one product and it's the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and this one's in the blonde. I have to get a new one of this. These, these things lasted me so long, like so. That's that for brows. <laughs> Normally people are like, give me 20 minutes. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes. So the only issue with doing your face makeup after you do your eyeshadow is sometimes I get a little crazy with the foundation or the concealer or both and kind of cut off the eyeshadow. And so it kind of doesn't look super rounded out or it's just awkwardly shaped so I kind of have to zhuzh that up a bit so I normally just go in with whatever brush I was using to apply the bulk of that color on the end and I kind of bring it make sure I bring it under the eye area kind of round it out a bit like so and then all I'm going to do is blend it out so it's not super harsh Brought a little bit too low on the side, but uh, that's all right. We're gonna take it, and we are gonna take that color Jacks, and we're just gonna bring it under the eye, kind of for a liner. I'm not a li liquid liner person. I used to be in high school when I went through my scene emo days, didn't we all? And. I just stopped wearing it when I got to college. I don't know, and I haven't really worn it since then, and I try, and it looks so awesome. I want to be just this miraculous wizard at it. It's so hard. They say you never forget learning how to ride a bike. You never forget to ride a bike, learning. You never forget how, you never forget to how, you never forget how to ride a bike. Is that it? Anyway. That's not the same thing with eyeliner. I used to be a wizard at it, not anymore. I look like a cheap hooker when I try to do it. No offense to any ladies of the night. All right. And there we go, you know? I promise I will show this in better lighting so I don't look like such a psychotic kind of crazy. I want a little crazy under the eyes, okay? I say that too. I told you I'm not a pro. Told you I'm not a pro. Okay. So, now we're going to line. I can't find my good liner, so we're going to use this one. It's not my favorite. It's the Essence Kajal Pencil in Teddy. I think it's a really pretty color, but like Kajal pencils, they're very creamy, and sometimes they can um, bleed a bit. So, keep that in mind. It's a very beautiful color, though. And that's about it for the liner. Next, we are just going to mascara. So I'm just using the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express and my Tarte Eyelash Curler. And that's that. We'll be back in a second. And uh, like the pro that I am, I've got some mascara on me. So I'll dry it and then we'll chip it off so I don't smear it everywhere. Last but not least, lips. So I'm trying to decide what 
type of lip I want to do today. Okay, my brush is back. Um, I could go for more of a plum, more of like a red tone or brown. We'll find out. <laughs> okay, so now that I kind of chipped away that bad boy, um, that is a trick if you didn't know to let it dry and then you can easily kind of remove it with your finger or a Q-tip. Anyway, so now we are going to do lips. We got our eyelashes on and I'm going to just quickly first take away my baking because that ain't cute and I've left the house like that before. Super not cute. Alright, we got a nice carved out little cheek. Next, I'm going to line my lips with Exaggerate, Exaggerate, with Rimmel's Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the color <laughs> I'm just gonna line the lips that way I have a guide for my lip. <sighs> I just drop everything. Oh, okay. So I have a guide for my lip. I'm just gonna line them on the outer edge and I'm gonna use the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. This is one of my very favorites. This is in the color or number 13, which I want to say is Marvelous Mauve. I love So now that the face is done, we are going to throw on our outfit, and I hope you guys really like it. Like I said, it's kind of a mixture between fall and summer. I live in Texas, like I've said before, so it's still hella hot, and I know I'm going to be sweating my butt off in this, but it's cute, so, you know, fashion is killer. What? That's not. Pain is beauty. Fashion is... Pain is... What? Beauty is pain. Fashion is pain. Let's just move on. Let's get the outfit on, alright?